What is good? So today I decided to do a trip to the thrift. This is actually right after work because I'm not going to have time to do it this weekend. So I'm filming this for y'all right now. Um, I'm going to hit probably just three thrift stores and then I'll get into the haul. Let's go. In the shoe section. Got some cheetah prints. Some New Balances. Some Nikes. Some Jordans? Oh. Got the Coogees right here. Got some Converse. Got some KDs. This is what I picked up from the shoe section. I got some the Crazy 8s right here. Some decent condition. And then I found these right here. Some Polo Sport leather shoes. Look at the bottom of these. God damn. Let's go. Cool. So I went over the shoe section one more time and actually came across the Kohan Nike Airs. These are like a size 11 and a half or 12, so it's a little big. But yeah, these are the Kohan Nike Airs. Don't know if I should cop these for my brother. Charge from 15. The other two pieces I found in the dress shirt section. This one's actually pretty clean. It's like brand new. It's a top man dress shirt. Might cop this. Pretty crazy but clean. And then I found this Tommy. Uh, size large Tommy khaki long sleeve simple piece might throw this up on the website so I spotted this from far away but I have a feeling it's fake it's in the women's section the guess is not even like centered but it's got the guess right here on the sleeve and then it's got a guess a little plastic piece right there and they're taxing $24.99 probably fake though pass Look at the caution tape they have here though. Nike? Going through the kids section, I found this champion medium 1012, but it's a it's a V-neck Shaquille O'Neal. Not sure about this one. The polo sport shoes and the logo athletic Lakers crew neck. Hey, I have an announcement. So next week on Sunday, 7 a.m. I will be releasing my t-shirt and my website all at the same time. The t-shirt will be available on my website. It's gonna be limited sizes. Um, follow me on my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Instagram. I just created a Twitter, so make sure to follow me on that so you know when I do drop the website. I will throw out a sneak peek of the shirt. They are pretty clean. Um, but yeah, hint, hint, Yeezy. So yeah, on to the second thrift store. Now let's keep this heat coming. Let's go. Super sad about this, but I found this uh, North Face size XL uh, red and black jacket for 20 bucks. But then it freaking has a tear in it. So sad, this is such a dope jacket. On this right here, it's a Royal Blue Heli Henson for $2.95. This is most likely gonna be a cup. Very simple piece. I did find a pair of dress shoes right here for $7.95. These are Cole Hands. Uh, Cole Hands, size 10. These are actually my size, so I'm gonna cop these for some beater dress shoes. I've been looking for a denim jacket, and I finally found one. This one's from Gap, and I'm gonna cop because they're only charging $2.95, so I might do a custom on this piece. No team, but it is a champion windbreaker. The champion logo right there, and then it's got the yellow, white, blue colorway. Nothing on the back. Found this right here for $14.95. Uh, CCM hockey jersey. See it right there in the tag. Charging $15 though, so it's kind of a lot. A little basic red Nike hoodie for five bucks. This might be a cop. I just have to make sure it's clean. And then lastly, right here, found a vintage Harley Davidson T-shirt. It's in like a salmon. Colorway, and then you see the date right there, 1991. So, this is a cop for sure. So, I think I'm gonna end up copying this, even though it has the flaw at the bottom. I'm still gonna copy it because it's too clean to pass up. It's got the North Face in the back, so super clean. Gonna have to cop this. Let me use this for when I go snowboarding. So. So I decided I'm gonna leave this, tried this on, doesn't fit very well, it's a little small. The coal hands are a little tight, so I'm gonna leave those. 
The Heli Henson is actually, I think, a women's jacket, so I'm actually gonna pass on this as well. So sad, but I decided I'm gonna leave this ball. Hard to let this go, but it's too faded. Can't do it. It doesn't even look dope from far away, so I'm gonna have to leave this. Boo. So I decided to ask the lady um, if she could discount it because of the flaws that were on the jacket. Look how much they priced it at. Remember, originally this was 19.95. Look now, six dollars. Let's go. Gotta pull the chain out. <laughs> the reason why I bought this is because it is like a amen to fashion. If you can see it right there, it's doing the little hands. Here at the last spot. We're here at uh, Goodwill. This is gonna be the last store we walk into. And then we'll jump into the hall. So let's we'll see what they got. So we're in the shoe section. We got some Mickey shoes right here. Some Skechers. Some boots. Or some like mountain boots. Um, some Steve Madden Vans shoes. We got some Pumas right here. Nothing really. We got some Chelsea looking boots. The hat section's right next to this, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, Madagascar. Billabong. Mm. Didn't really. Bamboo. Nope. I found two pieces. This one does not have a tag, but still dope. It's got the Mickey right there on the chest, and it's got kind of like a fleece material. So it's a Mickey sweater, nothing on the back. And then I found this um, turtleneck. You see right there, it's got the flag and polo jeans company. Ralph Lauren on the sleeve, nothing on the neck, but it is a size medium. Wow, I cannot believe. I just found these in the kids section. Got the champion USA basketball shorts. Damn, so 32, 34. This is a cop. It's cool. So I'm about to head out, but this is uh, the last piece I found. I found a vintage Adidas track jacket. It's in the purple and like blue colorway. It's got the little Adidas logo right there on the little ass cheek. But that's about it. I might cop this. This is pretty clean. What's good YouTube? It's the next morning. I'm now going to shoot the haul. As you guys saw in the video, I did make an announcement. Just a reminder, my website is going to drop at 7 a.m. Sunday morning next week. Super hyped about it. Hope you guys go visit the website. I will be dropping a shirt at the same time. There's going to be 50 pieces of this shirt. Limited sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, double XL. Um, but yeah, it's only going to be 50 pieces. So you guys got to get there as quick as you can um, before they sell out. I am selling to friends, family, and putting it on my website. So they probably will go quick. So hope you guys are excited about that and you guys go check out the website. But for now, Let's jump into the hall. Let's go. First piece, as you guys saw, is this $6 North Face jacket. Super heavy duty. You see the hood right here, and then you see the back. It's got the North Face in the back. It's got the red and black colorway. The buttons are actually gold, so super clean. Um, I looked this up, and it's actually, I believe, a 1985 North Face jacket. So super vintage. USA champion basketball shorts size 32 34 it is my size so super hyped about this I'm probably gonna be Grant Hill for Halloween since you guys saw that I have the jersey hey. Mickey fleece sweater no tag but it does have a dope Mickey print in the front it's got the Mickey right there the blue Mickey's fella and then on the bottom it says classic character since 19 32. I did pick this up, but I did not get to record it. This is a logo athletic Los Angeles Lakers crew neck Nothing on the back. Very simple. Another one for the kids. I got a Calvin Klein denim jacket right here. It's got the It's got the Calvin Klein on the chest right here. Cut CK on every single button. If you guys follow me on snapchat these next three pieces were crazy because they were all literally 
next to each other. I think someone was hiding them and didn't want someone to find them, but I did. First we have right here is the vintage Tommy Hilfiger tag. Tommy Hilfiger right there on the left tip. And then it says Hilfiger on the zipper right here. Tommy Hilfiger bomber. Boom. Right here I have a long sleeve collared t-shirt. Um, it's actually Balenciaga size large. It's just got this crazy print all over. So pretty cool. The YSL um, long sleeve collared shirt as well. A size large. It's got it's in the like goldish brown and red colorway across the chest. You can see the Saint Laurent tag right there. And then you see the YSL right there on the tit. So yeah, this was my favorite out of the three. Vintage Harley Davidson t-shirt. See right there, it's got the big Harley Davidson going across the chest. Some little feathers right there. And this one it says, and it says right here 1991. So you know it's vintage. And then in the back, it's got some spell outs right there. Los Angeles, Harley Davidson, California. So the back is super clean. This might be for the personal collection. I don't know. This was a crazy piece to come across. And I think the thrift store did kind of know what it was because they charged uh, $5 for a t-shirt. It's a MGM Grand Judy Garland shirt. Um, I looked it up and she was actually contracted by MGM a long time ago. And she passed away, I think like 1960 something. This was a pretty crazy piece to come across. So yeah. Polo bear shirt? Psych. This is a Coca-Cola t-shirt. Um, it says Coca-Cola Atlanta. It's got the polar bear right there. Polar, not polo. It does have the Coca-Cola tag. This will go on the website. Nautica sailing shirt. You see it right there. It's got the big spell out of Nautica and it's got the two little flags right there. Nothing on the back. So right here, I got the Chicago Bear starter jacket. You see right there, Chicago Bears on the left chest. It's got the NFL logo on the left sleeve and then the starter on the left sleeve. Start around the neck and then the big Chicago Bears patch on the back. The inside is super dope. Um, this might be kept in the personal collection, might go on the website, we'll see. It's a size medium, starter, and and L. Right here I have another crew neck. This is a polo jeans, Ralph Lauren. You see the big polo right there on the chest. Ralph Lauren 67 Jeans Company. Then it's got the little tag hit right there. Damn! These are Polo Sport uh, leather low shoes. They actually are my size, so I'm pretty hyped on these. I'm probably just gonna clean them up and actually rock them for the personal. The Polo Sport right there on the tongue. So right there you see it says Polo Sport. And when you turn it around, it's got Polo Sport in the back. And the bottom is that obviously the craziest part. Inside it says Polo Sport as well. You can see that right there. All right, so the last piece I wanted to show you guys this actually isn't a piece that I picked up um, thrifting. I picked this up from eBay for a steal price. Mickey hockey jersey. Crazy! You see the big, authentic Mickey spell out right there and they got Mickey on the front, all embroidered. Right there in the neck tag it says Mickey and Co. And then it says starter right there. So it is in the blue, yellow, red, and white colorway. And then you got the Mickey right there, super big. And then on the back, this is actually a very clean part of the jersey. It's a stitched in starter uh, logo right there. So this is a super, super dope detail to it. So that concludes this trip to the thrift. That was number 10. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are hyped for the website because I'm super hyped and I'm super excited to show you guys the shirt. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, I will be posting a teaser on my Instagram. Uh, to show you guys what the shirt looks like. So if you do want to see that, follow me on my Instagram. But yeah, uh, that concludes this trip to the thrift number 10. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it and you already know the slogan. So let's wrap it up. Hey, man, to fashion was good.